Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be working on this Xbox One. It's the um, model number 1540. This is the uh, last generation, the one that replaced the Xbox 360. It was released in 2013. Um, on this one, uh, we have a problem with the drive itself. It doesn't read any games. Everything else works with the exception of the hard drive, or not the hard drive, I'm sorry. The disk drive itself so i went ahead and ordered a drive uh, for this it costs it costs about 30 dollars on amazon and then i also ordered the laser i ordered the laser first actually um which is right here but i've I had second thoughts and i've since it had already been opened i didn't want to take a chance in replacing the laser and then finding out that there's something else wrong with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the actual drive itself instead. Uh, we do need to swap out the drive board from the old drive onto the new one because it's married to that to the drive. Otherwise, you won't be able to play any games. So we're gonna take this apart and uh, do that. Uh, I might do a case swap on this because this, this case is pretty screwed up. If they do offer cases for these, I might do a case swap, maybe get a clear a clear case or a smoked case, you know, one of those acrylic uh, clear cases. Uh, if they have them, and if not, maybe I'll buy one of those uh, vi uh, vinyl overlay stickers, the ones you put on top, and maybe uh, add some stickers to this because it's pretty beat up. And honestly, I don't see I don't see that there's much much hope in trying to bring it back to life. It's way too beat up for us to even try that. So uh, let's get started with the disassembly. So let's go. All right, first of all, we need to take this cover off. Oh, this is really too close for the camera, but it's okay. So this comes off. This here, you pull it back. That comes off. I mean, as you can see, look, it's been, it's been worked on before and it's it's pretty beat up okay that one's undone let me put this here so it doesn't close up again and that one there right there okay perfect uh, let me turn this around Now just be, be very careful when removing this lid because it's top cover because it's connected to the actual control board in the front, the power board. So just be very, very careful with this. I'll show you the board in a second. Let me try to, I don't want to tear it. I don't want to tear the ribbon cable off right here. This one right here. So you need to unlock this here okay and this is done now we need to take off this top cover and to do that we need to we need to disconnect the uh, the Wi-Fi cable here Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oops, it looks like it might be a speaker. It could be the speaker, maybe an error speaker. Not sure. Let me see what the board says. Uh, the board doesn't doesn't say what it is. It looks like a speaker though. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off these screws here. All right, so here's the drive itself. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Let's disconnect this. 
these out of the way. And let's get this out of the way. Manual. This is where it tells you that you need to re swap out the, the, the board itself. So if you were not, if you were to not swap out that board, you would only be able to uh, watch movies but not play games. So that's the reason why. Okay. Got ourselves some new screwdrivers. Always come in handy. New versus old. Uh, there, Phillips. So here's a board that they're talking about. This one right here. Here's your laser. So we would need to um, take all these cables off and desolder these two points right here, these two wires, and swap out the boards. So let's do that next. Okay, so on this one, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this ribbon cable here. Let me see which flap it is here. There we go. So this is the flap here. It's just hard to, at this angle, it's hard to see it. Take that one off laser uh, this one here looks like it might be a flap right here this one here okay I'm waiting for my iron to warm up, so I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling this one too. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a used the, the new drive is actually used by the way, just by looking at it. Um, looks like they might have just taken it off a a dead console because first of all you have different different colored screws, and then internally it looks like it's a little bit beat up, like this is all chewed up here. The ribbon cable has this little thing here, this little, I don't know, like a, a, what do you call that, a dent? And then there's like a, looks like it might be like a residue from a, either, some type of residue. It could be flux, who knows. Okay, let's take this off. So this is our good board here. Okay, now we're gonna take this board out. Grab the donor board, not the donor board, but the actual, yeah. No, I don't know what kind of board this would be. Okay, in case you forget which wire goes where, it's actually labeled BR, black and red, just in case. 
you forget. Clean it up with some, uh, some IPA. Hopefully that little dimple doesn't cause any issues. Hopefully it didn't damage a, uh, one of the uh, cables in there. One of the... Uh, traces, whatever you want to call them. All right, let's reassemble. I'm going to put this one back on because it's got the little, it looks like insulation dust dust trap dust uh, I don't know I don't know what it is but I'm gonna put it I'm put that lid back on right, let me put these in here so I don't lose them I'll reassemble the other drive off camera. Let me see. I'm going to re reassemble it just enough for us to test it, just in case I need to take it apart again. Put a couple of these screws in to hold it in place. All right, folks, we are back. And this is as far as I went um, for testing it. So let's go ahead and check and see if it actually comes on. And it does. Perfect. All right, we've got the screen. So we know that we have power and we have a uh, video signal. Let's put a game in there. Okay, good. It took it in. Let's see if it initializes. I hear it spinning. Let's see if it comes on screen. Yep, there it is. So that fixed it. Let's see. Oh, I need to connect to the network. Uh, I guess it needs to install. Install it onto the hard drive. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's see if it disappears if I eject the game. It sure does. And let's put it back in just to make sure that it does read again. But that should do it, man. Um, looks like that fixed it. So that's how you swap out a drive on the Xbox One. Model number 1540. Yep, there it is. All right, folks. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.